Morning. Another day, another rule test. Today, we're doing it on the Samsung Galaxy S22. Not the middle one, not the big one with the pen, the baby. If you're not familiar, I'm gonna use this phone as my normal phone, my SIM card's in it. We're gonna take photos on it and some of its competitors. I'll put those on the screen so you can see what that's like. We'll also check in on the battery and talk about some of the features that I like and don't like, all while we explore a hood. And today, we're heading to a neighborhood in Manhattan called the Lower East Side. But first things first. Coffee, check. And this is the Meow Parlor. And it's a cat cafe, which has actually become quite popular in Asia, but there's only a few of them here in New York City. Now this one was closed for 18 months due to the pandemic and sort of recently reopened, like kind of at a soft opening and now it's a little more open, but it's owned by the next door macaron parlor. And so when you're in here, that's where you get your macarons and your coffee from. And you kind of sit here and hang with the cats while you drink it. Due to health regulations in New York City, you can't have the food being made at the same place that the cats are. So this is kind of the way around all that. And while it is a place for you to hang out with cats, which is lovely, its bigger purpose is to get all of these guys adopted, of which apparently this organization has done a lot of, especially during pandemic times, I'm sure. Now, if you wanna come hang out here, you have to make an appointment, you get an hour. It costs $16 to do so, but way cheaper than therapy. And while we're here, let's talk a little bit about the design of the S22. Now coming from the S22 Ultra and like the S22 Plus, I thought this phone was gonna feel microscopic but it doesn't. It's kind of just like the perfect sized phone. It's not as small as like a mini device, but it's it's really good for just one hand. And also I've said this about the S22 Plus, but it feels good. Like it feels more premium than the S21 did. And the only thing I can think of is the metal frame that's now around the entire outside. It doesn't curve into the back like it did on the S21. And it just makes it feel more solid and I like it. Also, I got it in this white, which I kind of like more in person than I did when I saw it on the internet. It's like a matte finish. It just, it feels more premium than like a, obviously a glossy white would. Also sizes this year are slightly smaller, interestingly enough. The S22 is a bit smaller than the S21 and the S22 Plus is a bit smaller than the S21 Plus. Also, for those curious, the S22 is a decent amount smaller than the oddly recently launched S21 FE, which I did a video on not too long ago that I'll link below. Now, what if maybe you aren't ready to adopt a cat, but maybe, you're ready to adopt a new phone like the S22. Well, maybe today's sponsor can help. Navi. Now Navi is a completely free service that lets you look for a new phone, like the Samsung Galaxy S22, for example, and it'll automatically search over 3 million daily deals from each US carrier, plus the manufacturers like Apple and Samsung, and retail places like Best Buy to find you the very best deal for it. You can even put in your current phone and your current carrier, and it'll compare the trade-in values from all the different places on top of that to get you the best deal and the most money for your phone, and let you know if it might be worth switching carriers even. Again, it's completely free. So head to the link below, sign up for a free account, and see what deals you could be getting. Thanks to Navi again for sponsoring this video. Kitty, did not help it. Let's see how long we can keep the cat theme going. This is Cat's Deli, which maybe you've heard of. It's a famous delicatessen here in the Lower East Side, known for its amazing pastrami, which is traditionally piled very high on their rye bread with mustard. So good. And of course, the 1989 rom-com, When Harry Met Sally, was also filmed here. A very particular scene was filmed here, and there's actually a sign above it to commemorate the scene. You can Google it if you're curious. But it's funny, this place actually reminds me of my dad because when he was in town a long time ago, we would always ride a bike over the Williamsburg Bridge, which is right here from the neighborhood I live in, Williamsburg, and kind of do like a workout that way. And then when we got here, we would share a plate of pastrami with no bread. It's kind of our low carb, like high protein meal after the workout. So it just, it just brings back nice memories. But while we're here, let's talk about the cameras on the phone. We have all updated hardware for the cameras with a new ultra wide, a new 50 megapixel main camera that bins the pixels together in sets of four for better low light shots and a three times optical telephoto camera. And I'll say there's at least a slight improvement over the S21, but of course 
you guys can be the judge for yourselves. Also, with the newer software and hardware and potentially the newer chipsets, the digital zoom over three times is better and kind of usable, at least in bright light up to a point. But of course the full 30 times zoom is still kind of really just a gimmick. But I, I will say it is helpful for reading menus from really far away if you're nearsighted like I am. Now for the selfie camera, we have a 10 megapixel camera that looks like this, and it can also shoot in 4K up to 60 frames per second. And this is a bar called Sour Mouse. I couldn't find a bar called something cat. It's the closest I got, give it to me. Regardless, it's like a game bar. It has pool tables, ping pong, board games, foosball. They usually also have live music here and even do comedy shows here. It very much encapsulates like the vibe of this neighborhood in my mind. It's a bunch of people just like going out, trying to have a good time. But now while we're here, let's talk about what everyone is kind of curious about slash worried about on this phone, the battery life. And it died a bit ago, honestly. And since I've charged it up using an 18 watt fast charging battery pack that I have, uh, which managed to get it to 23% in just 15 minutes. Now the phone does support 25 watt charging, but that's harder to find in a smaller battery pack. But of course, that would have done a little bit better. So for everyone curious, here's my screen on time and my usage, but please keep in mind that today obviously isn't a normal day. I use the phone a ton, I recorded a ton of video, took a lot of photos, as is the usual for these videos that I do. But here is another day that I didn't do all that and just kind of use the phone a little bit more normally. So you at least have something to compare it to. But yeah, it's not amazing battery wise, which is kind of expected considering it has a smaller battery than the S21 at 3,700 milliamps versus 4,000 milliamps. Now, if you work in an office during the day or at least have a place to charge the phone during the day at some point, it's not that big of a deal. But if you don't, like me, where you kind of like set out in the beginning of the day and you don't go back or have a place to charge until you get home later in the evening, then a battery pack is recommended. And I'll leave links below to the best price that I could find on this phone, as I always do, but also on the best price I could find on a few battery packs, in case you're curious. Okay, I'm calling it a night. Now, honestly, for me, phone doesn't have enough battery for what I need it for. But keep in mind, I live in New York City. I don't have a car. As soon as I leave my apartment in the morning, I don't usually come back till late at night. And sure, I could have a battery pack, but sometimes I just don't want to carry that. So for me, it's not something I would use. But overall, I want to say for the fact that this phone is $7.99, it feels like it costs more than that. It feels more premium and I appreciate that about it. The only other phone that I would probably look at if you're looking at this phone and we're talking about Android, of course, would be the Pixel 6. As that's a little bit cheaper and I mean, you can be the judge of the photos between the two. Some of that's preference, but for most people, I feel like they think the Pixel 6 photos are a bit better as well. But yeah, overall for a 799 phone, not too bad. Just maybe buy a battery pack. There you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the format of this video. Still doing my thing. Hope you guys still enjoy it. Let me know though in the comments below. Always appreciate hearing from you guys as well as about the phone itself. If you like this video though, please thumbs up or share it. It's always greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of the channel. If you like to see there, please subscribe and ding the bell so you can notify when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching. Game bar. <laughs> Why do all trucks have to have that sound when they back up? It's pretty dumb. All right, so a little behind the scenes confession time. I ended up kind of accidentally going with that cat theme and just thought it was funny as I kept going. But I almost went to another place called The Boil to get fried catfish. Eh? I don't know why I'm like this. I really don't. But I realized that after eating that whole pastrami sandwich, it was so good. I was so full, there was no way I could eat anything else. So that's when we went to the mouse place. So, there you go. Appreciate you watching this far into the video. There's a nugget for you of behind the scenes for, for doing that. Thank you.